team. Yeah, And welcome everybody, ladies and gentlemen. It is a big clash here at City Vista. Got myself, Alexander Stojanovsky, on the mic tonight. We'll be hearing plenty of feedback and updates during this game, but it is a big clash between two big sides with a lot of history. Caroline brings George Cross up against Bentley Greens in the round 10 clash. There was a couple games on last night. I'll quickly run you through those. Werribee City at home against Northcote City. And Northcote City getting that one, two goals to one. And Brunswick City coming up on top against Western United, two goals to one as well. Two games earlier today at 3 p.m. kickoffs. It was North Geelong and Eastern Lions who shared the points at one goal apiece. Whereas, uh, again, front runners Melbourne Victory getting a 3 1 win away to Lang Warren with two late goals to snatch those three points up. Before we continue on, though, I do want to give a quick shout out to the main sponsor, the major sponsor, Maple Living, homes built with heart, premium townhomes. Now selling across all Melbourne Valley growth corridors. Learn more at mapleliving.com.au. It's not too far now from kickoff. And I have a feeling this one's going to be a great day. Pitch looks amazing. And we've got the weather holding up quite nicely too. So should be no excuse here, but beautiful football ahead of us. Teams now starting to work their way out. There will be the announcements now for the lineup. are tuning in. Yeah. If you are tuning in, give us your thoughts on today's game. Who is going to win? What score do you think it will be?
to today's lineups. As you did here, we've got Joseph Addo Peters starting today for George Cross. Ottoman Benadou in the lineup. We've got Russell Curry in there as well. Morgan Filer, Hugh Gandhi, Nicholas Georgopoulos, Captain Lachlan Roos, we've got Kosawada, Aiden Sayan, Matty Sesto going to be on the bench today. And we've got Trevor also in the lineup. Jordan Tucker also getting the nod ahead today. So we've got a big, big game about to start here as both teams, I'm sure, rearing to get this game going. Too far off, just a slight delay or kickoff. Usually, uh, pretty much slot on the dot, 5:30 kickoff here. But City Vista will be put on hold until the referee blows that whistle, and it'll be Bentley Greens getting the kickoff in this first half. They're going from left to right in that green strip, and it is going to be the home team, Carolina Springs George Cross, going from right to left in that beautiful white and red kit there. So, game almost underway. Who will come up early up on top of this game? Who's going to dominate possession? We're about to find out now as the game is underway. And almost a direct route, almost pinched, but Bentley Greens regain possession as they will look to cut through defense of the George Cross as Bentley Greens now trying to find that opening unlock that safeguard as the balls chip through and it easily picked off but it's come back out and it's already 1-0 what a start first shot first goal Bentley Greens shocking the home crowd and it's not even been f a minute. And it looked like he just trickled across. You're thinking the keeper may have just got a fingertip, but it just out of his reach in the end. And Bentley Greens will get that elusive goal. Scott Lockhead in the end. The man on the score sheet for the Bentley Greens. So I think that caught everyone unaware. Early goal, Bentley Greens lead. What have we got left in this game? I'm sure there's going to be plenty more as Tucker looked like he got fouled there, but the referees don't play it. Got the ball now. Tucker now. Also, Adu Peters, sorry. Russell Curry trying to win that one. It's very important now that both sides need to switch on and not give away endings, anything cheap. The referee looks like he bought into that one as uh, the foul is given towards the Bentley Greens here, so they'll get an opportunity to send this one forward. Oh, they're going to play it short, try and retain possession. Brockolis on the ball. Just got to wait for everyone to regroup, regather here, and send it long, which is what they've done. Dueled that one very long. It's headed, and that one, unfortunately, nowhere near the goal. So headed wide in the end and we've got a goal kick here for George Cross. So they send this one long, Sun starting to set downward here. Russell Curry climbed all over in the end. Tucker keeping that in. It's a lot of pressure on that flank and it's cleared out in the end. No risks. 
Just want to make sure they uh, show up that one goal early lead. Bentley Greens as George Cross takes that quick throw in. But they will regain position. Be patient. So keep position again. Sion in goals today for George Cross. That one set long. He's going to compete. Done well. Gandhi was there, just let that go past. It's Bentley now. Send this one back. And... Oh, it was an interesting clearance in the end there. It's picked up. Going to do. To Gandhi, and that one will stay in. And that looked like a free kick. No. Linesman said, no, it's not much in it. So, Bentley Greens will get that throw in. Brought in. Bit of holding there, but continues on. Rocky Roos plays it wide, Tucker. Touch, letting him down there, Curry. It's flicked on. And George Cross now looking to respond after conceding in the first minute of this game. Both teams fighting for that ball. And unfortunately, and given away by the Bentley Greens. Sent long. And easy in the end. forward just gonna have to bring that one down which they do George Cross Boys fighting it out in there it's good pressure from the Greens not really allowing an easy passage of play for George Cross early in this match Sayan will slowly bring this forward and send it long looking for curry potentially over the top easily dealt with and that one's right up in the air and referee's also given that one a foul so another free kick going the way of the greens played on quickly Set all the way forward. Well, one in the end by both players. One still down. And what a tackle there. It's going to go out for a corner. So at the moment, we've got two Bentley Greens players down on the floor. Courageous efforts. And we might have a bit of stoppage here. Question is, who's going to get up first? So if you have just joined us and missed some of this first half, it began with a bang, 40 seconds. And it was Scott Lockhead for Bentley Greens who had hit a nice low-driven shot in the bottom corner. And Bentley Greens leading 1-0 in the first eight minutes of this game. So they have a corner. It's come to Lockhead. For a second, you thought he'd get another one. That could potentially be given away. Oof. 
Almost did. Okay, sending that one in. And that one straight to the defensive unit. Clear forward. And they will get a free kick. So, Benadou not happy with the treatment. As Lockhead ends up on the floor. And Edo Pizza, Edo Pizza plays that one. And Zion now on the ball, plays it to Peters. We're back again and just going to be a bit of intricate passing that might have to unlock this defence as Bentley Green's not allowing too much at this stage. Just retaining your possession here. Peters sends it long, looking for Curry. Going to get to that ball, he will. So Curry now. Looking for that pass back, couldn't find Gandhi. And now it's Lockhead getting away as that ball's played wide and given away. Can they keep this one in play? Royce blocked out. So we'll be throwing for Bentley Greens. Ten minutes into this game. Yet to see any opportunities for George Cross. And would say on the spectrum of Bentley Greens, they did have a shot outside the box, which was greatly placed. Yet was it a clear cut opportunity? It's probably would argue the fact it wouldn't be. But it did end up in the net, and that's the main thing. As Lockhead plays that one over. Flicked back. Scott, Scott Lockhead again. It's been one of those players. It's just found an opportunity again. The same player, the same thing. In the space of 10 minutes, we've got two goals for the Bentley Greens. And it's Scott Lockhead. And he's incredible. You just can't let him cut into his left foot there. It was too easy in the end. And I'll tell you what, Bentley Greens going into this game would have thought if I get if we get two goals in the first two minutes, we'll be cruising. Two nil. And now we've got to see a response from George Cross. Crowd silent. Need to lift some spirit here at the moment. It's all greens. They just get, they've just got themselves in the area where they can just drive the ball into space and attack that defender where if you're going to allow that you know, opportunity to score, we'll be there. And that's what Lockhead's done. Short throw. Chipped over. Peters sends it long. Here is the man at the moment. Two goals. That's definitely a foul. Yeah, the referee's just waiting to see if there was an advantage. Definitely a hold on Curry there. So it was Josh Miller giving away that free kick. Royce will step over. Malcolm Royce sends it low. It's flicked in. Flicked over. Greens get to the ball first. That one's again up in the air. Just got to get that ball out, which they eventually do. It's brought down in to an area where it was cleared out in the end. That one's wide. And good defensive work there by the Greens. So, 
Lambropoulos will throw this one long. Headed by Benadou. Miller clears that one. And the Greens now will retain that possession. It was a miscontrol there in the end. Nothing to worry about. Suada now on the ball. Goes wide to Benadou. Got a bit of space to drive here. Decides to hold it up. Plays it to Gandhi. But Miller cuts that cross and says Lambropoulos take it. Do something with this one. Oh, that was almost broke the line there. Roos now. He's got a bit of space. And the referee, in the end, has given the free kick. And are we going to see a card? Probably not. It is in a dangerous territory, though. I mean, depending on how you officiate those games, you could easily argue the fact that it is a... A yellow, it's that one of those ones where if it's an attacking, a good attacking phase, broken up, you can just flash that yellow card, but the referee in the end, probably given a final warning. So, the skipper over the ball here. Lachlan Royce. It's important now. The wall for the Bentley Greens don't split. And they keep it intact to see what will happen now. He's a low driven one. In the end, it's a corner kick. So it's our first corner of the game. going to see here. Another low ball. It's come through. It's blocked out. It's brought down. Gandhi had to retrieve that and play one back. So a couple of attempts blocked in the end. Nothing to scare the keeper for the Greens. Nice little triangle of passes there as the Greens come forward. And that would have been in on goal. But for the interception of Filer, it looked like. And referee just having a quick chat there. And Filer just seen him say, calm down. up in the end so the greens on top of it at the moment not allowing George Cross to settle and play there the usual game Curry look like he got held okay, he's been quite physical early on and opportunity could be to be played here and in the end Paul was left. Peters. He's a long one. Now Bropolis easily cuts that one out. Now, the question is, are the Greens going to look for another one? That's a beautiful pass by Lambropoulos. Good tackle by Sawada. And that one should be cleared up by Peters. Still in play, actually. Jay Davies with the slight tackle to keep that ball in. No one there to capitalise on that, though. 
As now George Cross switched that pass. Benadou in that back position, trying to find that killer pass. Gandhi. That's well done. But again, Green's just on that heavy touch, not allowing them to really get comfortable. Davies. Just has to watch over those hands. Sawada. He looked like he got fouled. He did in the end. Blockhead giving away that free kick. As they switch that play. Tuck up. Down the line. That's just a bit too much on it in the end. So it's going to be a goal kick. The Greens set this one up. Should be easily won in the end. Ugandi does win it. Royce goes up. The ball's there. Scrambling both sides, trying to win that possession, but the Greens go away with it here. Straight into Ugandi there, and he's feeling that one. Might have been straight into the ribs area. He's feeling it. He's actually gone down, Yuke Gandhi. So it's up again as the Greens continue. That's not an area where you want to just turn and give it away as Sawada plays that wide to Trevor. Can he find an opportunity? And in the end, not exactly what they wanted, and it could be a potential there, but it looked like. Firelight just said, no, nah, we'll just clear that up. And Lampropoulos will easily sh shield that one out and go for a goal kick. So, again, Greens in control. There is glimpses there for George Cross. When they do press up and win that ball high, it does seem like it is their best way to break that defensive line for the Greens, trying to catch them unaware. When the air. Gandhi. We're going to see a flag. Yes, we are. There is an offside flag. Fire over the ball. Sent forward by Tucker. Chased down by Curry. He's going to do his best to try retrieve, but he won't be able to. So we'll have a goal kick again. Trying to penetrate through those long balls. Trying to look for Russell Curry. George Cross unable to do so at the moment as the Greens are in control of any long ball going over. So short option not on the send it down as they go for the long goal kick here can't win it Sawada wins that pass good tuck up good challenge the referee waves play on that one's cleared gotta watch out I want to let that one slide to the penalty box. Brought in. Captain on the ball. Michael Royce goes wide. Just having to wait for that one. Was Benadou who gets it back from Gandhi. He's done well. You Gandhi. Trying to look for that run and receive it again. But the ball was played in. Cleared out in the end. Peters cross to file up. 
Morgan Fowler trying to find that pass. It's kept in, in the end. And he'll receive that one back. And again, trying to break through that Bentley Green's defence, but they're holding up pretty, pretty well, pretty solid at the moment. Just a hopeful ball in the end for the Greens. It's just easily recovered in the end by Peters, who plays that one, just not aware at the time, and it looked like a foul. And in the end, Royce will get that free kick. Peters. On the ball forward. Played wide. Curry, he tried the one-two in the end. Didn't really pan out as he wanted it to. Ball switched across here. Greens play that one as quick as they could there. It's a big switch from Lockhead. And that one should be shielded in the end. And referee's given a goal kick in the end. Did look from my angle. It did um, touch the defender on the way out. Nonetheless. 25 minutes into this game. First half, where the Greens have come out the better in the first 10 minutes. It looked like it just uh, seemed like a one man show. Um, it's got Lockhead with two goals in this game for Bentley Greens, and since then it's been pretty, pretty comfortable for Greens to hold on to this lead. It hasn't seemed to be any clear opportunities as of yet. And Bropolis trying to get onto that, and that one in the end was a bit too much for him. Real question is, will Eric Vasiliadis actually make any half-time subs if they are still 2-0 down at half-time? Be interesting to see how they respond. But the response should be right now, well, before the break. They really, really want to, need to push for that goal. And Suada does well there. And he can go. Still can. And that one might be offside in the end. Yeah. Gandhi there just going a bit early. The pass was slightly delayed, so it's a bit tough for him to check that run. Three ways that away. Georgeopoulos trying to win that one back for George Cross. Tucker also in there, fighting hard. And the Greens <laughs> trying to win it. They, they actually end up winning it back there. And then the switch is on to Benadou. Who can, if he can just get away, it's great work. In the end, that one has gone out. And great first half. And this man on the ball right now. Two goals, working back to defend. Unfortunately, gave that one away, but at least not in an area of any danger. All the time in the world here for Georgeopoulos. Can't find any pass, has to go back across. It's just really, really well controlled at the moment, not allowing such an easy way to get the ball across or... Get the flow of the passes going. George Cross as Bentley again just shoring up that the passing lanes aren't something that can easily get broken down. And that one in the end, 
will be a free kick. Again, trying to get this ball moving. Who's the captain? Uncle Royce trying to find the ball across, which he does. Gandhi cuts in, goes back wide. Is he going to use Benadou? Will. Benadou. And that one's come back off him. And it will be a goal kick in the end. It's a bit tight down there for him. Couldn't really uh, make anything out of it. Now Bopolis on this right-hand side for Bentley Greens. It's been very solid today. It's been very hard for George Cross to make any kind of in-rows past his defence. They've been very, very tight. They've kept their shape. And, I mean, it would make sense to do so if you're going two goals up, to keep your shape and just remain focused during these moments of the game. So, um, on the ball. He's going to go long. Or is he going to keep it? Keeps it. Goes wide though. Royce has dropped into that deep roll and almost given away in that area. But regardless, Greens get that ball back. Keeping this ball. Oh, the Greens. Davis. Miller will get that back off him. Played long. I think that might be a bit too far in the end for Scott Lockhead. That'll be a goal kick. They'll send this one down long. Sion. The halfway mark. Curry doesn't win it, but well, that was a high foot there. The referee should be given it. It is a free kick. Yeah, it's just on the top of the boot, which is the annoying ones, especially when it is a bit of a chilly night. Bowler, Benjamin Bowler giving that free kick away. And we're just waiting for the skipper, Royce, to get back up. And he's probably feeling it there. It was just, he got caught as he was swinging that foot up. Curry switching that one across. Sent long. By Filer. Tucker's there. Tucker can't keep it in though. And again, just the loss of possession. Greens know that if they can lock this up for the next 15 minutes or so, half time's there and they can go back to the dressing room with a positive mindset going into the second half too. Don't want to give it away in the end. Long throw. It's come out and cleared in the end. Peters tries to play it wide. Cut off in the end. George Opulus can't find his man. Brought in. 
Georgopoulos. Thrown back into play. Royce. Benadou. Goes to Gandhi down the line. Lampropoulos is kept in in the end. Actually. Sawada. Filer. Trying to find that pass through the middle. Cleared out. Good work by the Greens. Lockhead. Davis. And uh, ball's been played on. The referee's just stopped the game now. Just waiting for Davis to get up. But he felt aggrieved that he should have had a free kick. Stoppage again. Play commences. So we get that switch on. Royce, skipper. Can he make something happen here? Finds that pass to Benadou. Benadou with a long one across to the other side. He's going to be kept in. It is. It is kept in. It's done well in the end, Trevor there. Keeps that ball. Plays it to Filer who finds Peters. Just going to have to look for that pass. And in the end, I think maybe Peters was trying to lob that one but just didn't get the connection. This goes out. Just that final third has let down... George Cross at the moment, they just can't find their way through. I think that's full credit to the Bentley Greens who haven't allowed such an easy passage of play for them to get through. The shape's been kept well. The long balls have been cut out pretty comfortably in the end too. So it'll be interesting what will be said at half time from both coaches. Plays that one back. Miller goes to Lambropolis here. Down the line. Georgopoulos wins that one. Done well. Just couldn't keep it. But in the end, it's actually come out to Peters. And the referee's given a free kick. Scott Hiller in the end, giving the free kick away on Peters, who actually found himself in an advanced position. So, opportunity now. George Cross, are they going to test the Bentley Greens? Goalkeeper here. It's going to be Royce. Hits it and comfortable in the end. Long ball forward. Easily dealt with. And Gandhi. Unable to keep that win in. Gandhi there, so throw in. Greens. And Propolis. Go short. You Gandhi. Throws in the foot. Do much in the end there as it goes wide. Tucker working hard to defend that ball. The tackle. It's just in that box, which they clearly 
need to be very careful with those challenges as Gandhi now has done well made a bit of space switches it across ball over the top and in the end cleared out by Miller Violet the referee's played advantage Royce the switch Father again nice work there that's better there's one twos here as they get it wide now Benadou just needs to attack that ball and get that in couldn't get the delivery though Good work by Sawada Using his frame to hold that ball up. Opportunity now for Curry. Georgiopoulos. Big heavy challenge coming in now as the ball bubbles out. And you've got an opportunity. If it goes over here, it doesn't. In the end, it's cut out. Big switch on for Gandhi. Let's that go over the top. Lambropoulos been really well today. Keeping him quiet. Been using his body really well. And he's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant defending. Gandhi can't find his way. Perry Lambropoulos just putting in a shift today in that right back spot. Making sure that Bentley Green's going to this break. Two goals up. Referee waves that away. George Cross come forward here. Opportunity beckons. It's a high foot. Referee lets it go. Linesman says play on two. And in the end, whipped in by Trevor, who can't find anybody else in that box. So again. Filer bringing that one down. It's quite an advanced position for Morgan Filer, who wins a throw. As Tucker will now take over his position there to take that throw in. Sawada. We coming towards half time not much left in this first half but George Cross have an opportunity corner second corner for George Cross and can they make this one pay can they get something right before the half time whistle here will definitely lift the spirits of the squad and the crowd if they can produce a bit of brilliance here. They've got the high in Peters. They've got Curry. Filer's in there as well. It's corner. About to come in. Whipped in nicely. And cleared out again by who else? Let's come back in again. It was, I was going to say Lambropoulos who got that ball out in the first place. Ball was set right back in. And in the end, no trouble whatsoever. Oh, long and high ball forward. Royce just sends that one wide. Chased. And Propolis will send this one into bench. George Cross as they have this ball sent in. Sawada trying to win that one. Jackson. Georgiopoulos 
But again, it's just a really effort from Bentley Greens. As that time was Morgan Jackson, number 16, in the middle of the park. Just really working hard, making sure there's no easy way to get around. It's going to be an absolute dogfight in the second half if George Cross want to try and get a goal to make and liven up this, this contest because at this stage, Bentley Greens, they would feel like they're in great position to, to really hold out and win this game. Two goals up. Referee again, calling the free kick is Simon Sawada, who wins it. Foul up. In the end, George Cross will lose out and Greens will get that possession at the halfway mark. Coming towards the end of the first half, probably going to see maybe about a minute or two of out of time. It's just a little bit of left of time for the, the board does get put up by fourth official. There's this man, Lockhead, who has got the two goals in this first half. The ball in the end, Penadu cannot find Gandhi as we do get an extra minute of at a time in this first half. That one straight into Tawada. Curry, Royce couldn't pick it up. Davies now coming forward. Bentley Greens in position to maybe get a third before the break. It's that man with two. Could he get a third on his left foot? He's again blocked out this time by, it looked like Filer. Switches on. Nebropolis. Keeping the ball very smart in the end. Miller. He's going to keep that ball, Davies. He'll keep that. Plays it to Scott Hill up. And the referee blowing that halftime whistle and in the end just game management by Bentley Greens stopping that phase of play and waiting for that whistle to go and we are at halftime so are 2-0 if you have joined us it is two goals to nil half time Bentley Green's lead we have a big big second half coming it's going to be interesting what words of choice in that dressing room Eric Vassiliadis needs to get those boys together and they need to really get a reaction in this second half as we go out just going to quick major sponsor Maple Living homes built with heart if you are searching for a first home or investment property, Maple Living has great options for you. Score big on quality and affordability by visiting mapleliving.com.au. It's myself, Alexander Stojanovsky. I will be back with you shortly for the second half.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half about to begin. Bentley Greens, two goals up. Against George Cross. As we start this second half, just a quick word. Maple Living, major sponsors here. Homes built with heart. If you're searching for a first home or investment property, Maple Living has great options for you. Score big on quality and affordability by visiting mapleliving.com.au. As the game is started. And the Bentley Greens coach was still walking across the ground before the game actually as the second half kicked off. So... Yeah, just having a word with the fourth official. So nothing too much this comment on as the moment as Jackson now. Just giving it give a quick moment to recover. Just maybe picked up a little knock there, but the game goes on as Nebropolis flicks a long throw in. The Greens. Pretty solid first half uh, on their end. Uh, I mean, can't complain when you go on 2 0 up at half time, but in terms of giving away much opportunities, they didn't really do so. I think George Cross will need to come out firing in this second half if they want it. Give Bentley Greens any kind of challenge to get back into this game. Green ball. So, Lambropolis to bring this one in again. Trying to find an option. Looking around. Finds Lockhead. Plays it across. Scott Hill up. And that ball. Up and dull up. In and around the ball when he gets the opportunity for the Greens. And what's given away? Bruce. For Don. Sawada. And that has to be a free kick. And surely we get a booking here. <laughs> no, no booking. Keeping those cards. Maybe he's still got the cards at home. Sawada in a great position there to break through. Did it in the end. Brought down and the ball whipped in. Cleared out. And now the option was on to find that ball through. And it's Bentley Greens on the break and it was through Lockhead. In the end, couldn't capitalise on the opportunity. As the Bentley Greens finding their lines, going through into good positions. Jay Davies plays it wide. That one stays in. And the referee just waves away. That ball gets played back. Ball, Davies, opportunity, and Sion in the end makes the save. Georgeopoulos plays it back. Bruce. Come to this 
It's a long tuck up. Fine ball over him in the air. Jojopoulos. Curry will get this one back. And again, Ugandi. And able to be picked out. All right, tuck up. Long ball into play. Ruse. Ruse plays it forward and offside against Curry. Russell Curry there. Lone Ranger up top for George Cross Football Club. Sent forward by Withers. Flicked on by Jay Davies. Scott Hiller. Bit of a coming together in the end. Referees, the linesmen agree with that one. No, free kick plays on. George Opoulos looked like he got a hand on there. The referee maybe playing the advantage. Here's George Opoulos again. Look at those footwork there, trying to get forward. Referee again. Curry trying to get through, and in the end. Kick against Curry in the end. Withers. Let's bring this into play. Did not see any substitutes in this second half as of yet. Nothing, I suppose, before the commencement of this second half. So, so the artist trusts the process of those players on the field. Get one here. And make it game on. Salada. Trying to get that one through. Hold on by the Greens. Tucker sends it in. Salada again. Hard tackles getting thrown in here from both sides. Trying to win that ball. Davies playing it centrally. And the opportunities on if they can find these passes, which they have been. And in the end, the referee gives a goal kick. Tucker, recovery challenge there to win it. Sent long by Sion. This time the referee does give a free kick. Hey, Bandelwa. Get that free kick as the Bentley Greens. All set up and just to keep that clock ticking. Oh, intricate there. Couldn't find his footing. Lampropolis on the ball. Goes central. Keeps the ball well, using his body. Onside. Body usage, sensational. Gandhi under the ball now. 
Tucker plays to Uke. Gandhi again. We get the throw. Tucker to bring this in. The referee again brings that back. Free kick one and by Davies. One well by Jackson. Lockhead trying to win it. But George Opolis wins that ball back. Curry couldn't get that touch in the right direction. Looked like a foul by Curry. It is another free kick given away by Curry. Long ball forward. Filer wins. But the opportunity now. Blocked out by Peters. Again, and it's in! Cy Young beaten. And Bentley have a third. Manasi Abendalwa with the goal. And the Bentley Greens might now have just uh, sealed that one. Three goals to nil at City Vista tonight. I'm sure going into tonight's game, most people wouldn't have predicted a three goal lead at any point of time for the Bentley Greens. But now we are witnessing it. Ball haven't really worked tonight for George Cross. Bentley Greens have just been in control for most parts of this game. Long ball. Davies flicks on. Tucker. Georgeopolis. And he couldn't find his teammate in New Gandhi. Yildiz to bring this in. Goal scorer playing it. Now it's Bruce. Yildiz playing it down the line. And that one's out. Tucker. Might see some substitutes very shortly here. Georgopoulos. And a free kick against Jackson. Or for Jackson, should I say. Withers will take this one, sends it long. One, one in the end. And Morgan file up. About 15 minutes into this second half. Bentley Green's getting one to add on to their lead. Extending their lead to three as 
Now, George Cross, an opportunity's on, and in the end, Withers making sure that one does not pass. The subs now will come on. What an opportunity there was for the George Cross to get one back, and then Withers was right up off his line to block there. We are going to see, uh, it looks like two substitutes for George Cross about to come on. Lachlan, Bruce sends it wide. Liam O'Connell looks like he's going to come on here. Miyashi. Miyashi, sorry. Looks like he's going to be coming onto the field as well as Curry. Uganda's going to be offside here. Yeah, Gandhi ends up coming off. So two subs. Let's see what kind of impact they may have. They have about half hour football to play. It's going to be interesting to see what response we're going to have. Are we going to get at least a goal for George Cross? Bruce sends that one. Filer switches it on. And the referee giving a free kick there in the way of Bentley Greens. In this phase of play where they are probably just going to manage this game, slow it down and find the, the holes when they can, trying to reduce any kind of, or mitigate any mistakes or risks, keep players fresh as possible for the next week if and when the game does require any kind of subs and they have all the subs available at the moment, the Greens. In the end, Bentley will win that throw in. And then Bropolis, probably one of those players today who has been so solid defensively. Whenever challenge has been there to answer those. Davies loses out. Now it's all on what George Cross can do. Set forward. Flicked out. Now Ruse sends it through. 
to Curry. Plays it back. Benadou. Can't win it. Roos. Roos. Oh, just wide in the end. Lachlan Roos. Oof, that was very, very close. Withers didn't even move. He just, <laughs> he was basically looking at that one, hoping and praying it went wide. And he's much more positive in the direction of George Cross, who managed to get an opportunity on the foot of the skipper. And then just wide. As Withers send this one down the field. Philo wins it. Sayan. And in the end, from one goalkeeper to the other. And we're going to expect Withers to just bring this one in. Pick this one up. And manage his time. Sends it long. Good ball through. Sion in the end. Quick there to cut that one out as uh, an opportunity was brewing there for the Bentley Greens. That time it was Scott Lockhead playing that ball through. Who's got two tonight? He'd be pretty happy with his performance. Sion tries to knock that one wide, does. He's kept in, and unfortunately, not an advantage of what it needed to be. And it is a fourth for the Bentley Greens. And guess who? Scott Lockhead. He's got three. And Bentley Greens have four. Just gets from bad to worse in this game for the George Cross Football Club. We would need something miraculous to happen at this point for George Cross to get back into this one. He's been a great performance from the Bentley Greens and Scott Lockhead has a three tonight. And he'll be taking that ball home. And Russell Curry now trying to inspire a performance and the referee gives it. So Possibly an opportunity for the skipper to put his foot over this one. Ruse. his foot over it and in the end had to get a fingertip on that with us it was dipping in Lachlan Roos probably the most dangerous player guy looking most likely to score as the corner comes in and it's cleared in the end. We'll go into the car park. So we need a new ball. And we'll get another corner. In. As the flag goes up for offside, 
we are going to have another substitutes or a few substitutes actually so we're going to see three substitutes here for the Bentley Greens we're going to see another sub here for George Cross. So three for Bentley Greens here. And one substitute here is going to be, looks like the skip up for George Cross. It is Roos who does exit from the far side. Anthony Tchaikovsky well, into the phrase. On ball. ball. Curry. Keeps it in. That one cleared. Benadou, heavy touch. Keeps it in though. We're going to see an opportunity to get at least a consolation for George Cross. Greens. Through them. And Propolis. Heavy touch. But a winner corner. Perry! Perry! Yoshi. In the end, working hard to get a cross in, which rewards himself with a corner for George Cross. And it's going to be Benedu to swing this one in on his left. Sent in, and that one's another corner. Sixth corner of the game for George Cross. Not a good cross in the end. And that one will go over, so a bit of a stoppage. throw by Peters flicked on by Curry that was going in on target attempt Bentley Greens through withers go forward Filer sends it one opportunity now for George Cross. Yoshi. Oh, and that one's not the effort he was looking for. Easily saved in the end. And a do. Cleared out. Hello. 
And the Greens looking to retain possession. And looking to manage this game out. See it through. Jackson wide. Wilders plays it across. Bentley Greens. Just keeping the ball well. I should play this one back to, to Withers who does receive. Trying to press forward here, George Crosser, and they win it back. Switches on. An opportunity. Blocked that easily. Jackson. Switched across. Kept in. Scott Hill up. That big ball across and out. Bentley Green's trying to find one more potentially. Hey, coming on now. Overhit ball there by Peters. Played back. Turned on. Goal one. And that's definitely going to be a booking now. I'm not happy about it. It was not a good challenge, and that is the first booking of the game, but not happy with the treatment there. It was unnecessary. Gets himself up. It's George Cross now. Have an opportunity to send players forward like Peters. You know, Curry will be up there. Yoshi. Yoshi will send this in. And it's just over everyone in the end. Peters trying to win it back. He's kept in to play now. Sent long by O'Connell. Tucker heads this one back. Tchaikovsky. Tucker gets it off him and plays this to file up. Trying to keep the ball here. That one's just going to run out. So throw in here with 12 minutes left. We have another substitute here, Bentley Greens. Gratis coming on, and another two substitutes for, for George Cross. Aiden Brown getting a minute. A couple minutes here for Brown to, to come on. And Jack Wardle getting some minutes as well. That ball by Filer. Not where he wanted it. Probably a performance that the George Cross team would be very, very quickly to forget after a tough first half. 
two quick goals scored from Bentley Greens in the first half through. Two more plays they probably could have done well in the defensive aspect. Just allowing Lockhead to dribble through and hit those low shots. The low shots which have been tough for Sion to really stop today. They've been all pretty much sent in the bottom corner. Peters. Tucker. It's a dangerous ball there. Peters will let that run across though. Done well. Ball over the top to find Curry. Curry trying to use his body and in the end he gets a corner. Seventh corner for George Cross. We have about, say, 10 minutes left in this game. Opportunity to get consolation. Sent in. It's come out. And the shots off the bar. It looked like here, or just over the bar. And the last substitute here for Bentley Greens. As it is the hat trick hero. Got Lockhead. And on does come Javaro. Nepon Semino. Well, there. Well, it's opportunity for Greens as they come forward. That one in the end. Cleared out. Tucker. Plays it across to Ado Peters. Long ball forward from Peters. Trying to run onto that one was Brown. George Cross looking to at least get a consolation in this game. Good work there by Javaro holding the possession. That one's played back to Withers. He sends that one long. Peters intercepts. Looking for an option. Does get one, but not the ball he was looking for. Javaro plays it back. Long ball forward now from the Greens. And we'll stay in. O'Connell will pick that one up. Play central. And we're going to see the ball in behind, which they have. Withers is out. And he did well in the end. File up, brings that one back. Sahan will get that one, and Peters will receive it off him. Time slowly but surely ticking away. Chip forward. Tuck up. And a foul on Curry in the end. Tucker switches. What a touch. And the ball back post. Benadou. And ended up being cleared out in the end. As Peters now has to bring this one away. And he heard this one back to Sion. 
And he'll switch it across. Yes, he will. Fine file up. Plays that one down the line. Kept on and kept in. As Tucker pinches that one away. And easily. Well, as easily as I thought it was officially, but with his ends up. Getting out on his second attempt. Cross in by Tucker. Looking for Brown, I believe. Sent forward by Withers. As the game starts to wind down, I think it's more important enough now that teams want to avoid any kind of injuries or red cards. I think this is coming in towards the last few minutes of the game. I want to make sure we have plays available for next week. And we have a Bentley Greens player down at the moment. Looks like it was the substitute that came on. Droughtis Christopher. Forward now, by with this flicked on. Cyan collects. Sends it long. Well done in the end. Hilda is defending that one well for Bentley Greens. Frustration all around for the bit uh, for the George Cross boys. And he's just uh, got a cop on on top of there with his uh, ankle. Should be able to continue. Let's hope. Just keep playing it back. Fire up, what a ball that is. Just couldn't connect to find Curry there. Manace! Manace! If he's no good, send him one up. You go. Yeah, you can go back. Dennis, yes or no? Almost through there. One well by Peters. Still on it though. Just got a release, but using his body well. Chips that one forward. Russell Curry will have to work to get that. And the referee plays on. So Miller was. Ball switched across. Filer plays it wide. Yoki beats his man well. Sends that cross in. It's in play. Head it down. Still in play. And clear well by. Javaro in the end. Bentley Greens, bit of a scare in that box. Defended well in the end. Played what? Uh, sorry, played central. And the shot by Fire after Bar, and it's offside in the end. <laughs> Premature celebrations. Cut to an end there very quickly as the referee brings the offside flag up. And still four goals to nil and the clean sheet is intact for the Bentley Greens. Bit of headed the wrong way. Javaro now. Javaro 
coming in. Javaro shoots. Blocked out. Look, Peters was there to block it. And there's going to be a throw in in the end. Coming towards our 90th minute. Looks like we're going to see about four minutes of added time. I'm sure both teams would have preferred not to have any. So, free kick against the Greens. Yep, four minutes added on to this game. Coming towards now, the end of this final four minutes is left between Bentley Greens having a clean sheet. Or is it going to be George Cross spoiling that at, at a bare minimum from a consolation perspective? It's been very much start to finish flawless performance from Bentley Greens. Faro did well to turn his man in win a throw. It's the Bentley Greens. Just slow this down. Long throw. Curry. Sorry, not Curry. It's Peters running that one with his body. All the time in the world. Jackson playing it to the Javaro. Sent forward. Now look, they're in that one. Sent forward. Flicked on. Maybe a consolation in the end. That cross easily cut out by this and uh, say we're about a minute off. A whistle here. Selinov waiting to see when he puts that whistle to his mouth and blows for that final one as the Bentley Greens still pressing looking for more tuck up on he goes that one in the end play behind his teammate Naoki Yoshi doesn't They've been able to really affect the game off the bench, but it, again, when you are down three, four goals. It is tough. Throw. Waller wins that. One ball. Almost there now. Sion. And it is the final whistle. Bentley Greens. Four goals to nil victors at City Vista Pavilion and Sportsfield. We are here. 
presenting here from Onflow Media. We appreciate you being here tonight to tune into this game. Was not the result the home fans wanted. That's for sure. But in the end, 4 0 win for the Bentley Greens. Quick little shout out to the major sponsor, Maple Living. Homes built with heart. No hidden costs and more. No, sorry, no hidden costs and more premium inclusions from Australia's leading suppliers. Maple Living has an option for you. Learn more at mapleliving.com.au. It is myself, Alexander Sojanovsky, giving you an ending today's action. Hopefully, a better result for the home crowd. But it is Bentley Greens, four goals to nil, Victors. Have a good evening, everyone.